Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between trade and fiscal deficits. Now, these are two concepts that are often confused by students. So a trade deficit happens when the value of a country's imports of goods and services is greater than its exports over a, a given period, normally a year. So it's part of the balance of trade and it's recorded in the current account of a country's balance of payments. Now, if a country is running a trade deficit from year to year, a persistent trade gap, now that can indicate that the country is spending a lot more on foreign goods and services than it's earning from selling their own products overseas. And that's a net outflow from the circular flow. If the US imports three trillion worth of goods, exports only two trillion, then it's running a trade deficit of one trillion. And the opposite is a country that runs a trade surplus. Now, the UK runs a large and growing trade deficit in goods. But it also has quite a strong trade surplus in services. And services from creative to financial services uh, is an area of the UK economy where they've developed a competitive and scaled advantage. But overall, the UK runs a trade deficit as part of the current account. And we can see that from this chart. Look at the black line there showing the net trade surplus in services going up. But the blue line shows the net trade deficit in goods and the gap has widened. Therefore, the UK runs quite a persistent trade deficit. Interestingly, the UK runs a trade surplus with non-EU countries, and that's gone up in the last few years. The trade deficit with the European Union has gone up as well. The UK left the European Union in 2020. Now, a budget or a fiscal deficit happens when a government spends more than it takes in in all those different direct and indirect taxes in a given fiscal year. So it's reflected in the national debt accumulation because when a government's running a persistent budget deficit, that obviously means they have to borrow and they typically borrow by issuing debt and that increases the national debt. So if the US government collects four trillion in taxes but spends five trillion, then it runs a one trillion budget or fiscal deficit. The UK government has run budget deficits, as we'll see, for many years and the size of the deficit certainly increased very sharply during the pandemic to over £350 billion. The government was taking in less in tax. The economy shrank by 10 percent, but having to spend a lot more on furlough and increased spending on the NHS. Now, as a result of recent budget deficits, the cumulative national debt, the debt is that, that is yet to be repaid, has climbed to nearly 100 percent of GDP. So here's the figures for the budget or the fiscal balance in the UK since 2019. You can see that jump in the size of the fiscal deficit in 2020, a big deficit in the last three years as well. And the forecast is the deficit will come down, but it will still be above 130, 140 billion pounds per year uh, over the next five years. And as a result of budget deficits or fiscal deficits, the size of the national debt has gone up. It's now forecast to approach three trillion pounds by the end of 2029 into 2030. So there we go. Really key distinction to make. Please avoid making a simple error, which students often do. They confuse trade and fiscal deficits. And hopefully this video has helped.